In this video, we're going to be looking over this Canon EOS Rebel SL1 digital camera, and this is equipped with the uh, EFS 18 to 55 uh, 3.5 to 5.6 aperture IS, uh, the STM version. A couple of things about this camera that I want to make sure I point out. Um, right here we can see part of this filter ring is broken away. And those little pieces are in this little envelope here. Uh, they're included but I've not bothered with those because I found that a 58 millimeter filter will still thread right into there just fine but beware that's missing that's broken out there. And the other thing that I noticed is when I look in the uh, viewfinder, the aperture uh, shows with um, a few segments out in the, the second digit of the aperture. So if you see f11, you'll see an f11. But if you set it to f5.6, you'll see a 5 and then some segments that don't look like a 6. So be aware of that. Otherwise, uh, everything works as far as on the back. Uh, here, let's put it in aperture priority mode. And uh, you can see here, if I set the aperture there, I can set that to whatever I want using the wheel on the top. If I set it in manual, I can set the uh, shutter speed over here. And if I hit this button right here, it switches over to aperture and that works. The touch screen works on here too, uh, when I get to something that I want to see. All these buttons across there work, and you can see the touch screen is working. Um, this camera works really nicely in live view, so if you want to take a picture of something, say this uh, pop can over here, and we set that there. Yeah, there. So the display looks really nice, uh, and uh, let's look inside here. The uh, it has a battery and a two gigabyte SD card, and those are included. Whoop! Stuck that in backwards. There we go back on. Everything's good. Um, let's review some pictures I took on it. There's a picture of a pop can, another picture, and then some pictures at distant uh, and uh, zoomed in um, settings of the lens. Sensor cleans at the end. And this camera comes with the lens cap, this Canon strap, a little baggie with the little pieces of that lens filter ring, a USB cable that plugs into it, a uh, battery charger that works with the battery, and the uh, original body cap for the camera body and the rear lens cap for the lens. And all of that comes along with this uh, low pro case. And we can see that this can all be packed in here. What I did was I had the uh, battery charger I put the lens caps back in there and the uh, the cord in the back. There's a little pocket there. This little envelope with the pieces in. And then the camera is right here in the top. Hold the, the strap in and zip it up. And there's a zipper that comes from the other side, and you can bring that up to meet it. Of course, I'm trying to hurry, and it's a little tight fit, but okay, there we got it. The only thing that uh, I should point out here is the word patty is written on here, 
in some kind of ink. I don't know what that is. And this is a Low Pro um, Apex 110AW uh, bag. And it's got kind of a neat feature that if you're out in the rain, you can pull this shield out and pull up over the top. So then you have a waterproof top. So that's kind of a neat feature. If you don't need that, you just stuff that back up in here. And then it has a nice shoulder strap and regular strap. 